path of Gladiator 2 has been a really interesting one. They first kind of floated the idea of Gladiator 2 years ago. I think I was still at Collider at the time. And the concept of Gladiator 2 at that point was the gods have decided that Maximus's time was not yet done and they were going to send Maximus back to Earth, to which everybody did a heavy set of eye rolls and nobody wanted to see that. And then we all thought it was gone. Well, then a couple of years ago, we started to hear that they were going to mount a Gladiator 2 anyway, but it wasn't going to be with that the return of Maximus storyline. It was going to be something else. Then we started hearing, you know what? I think they're going to do it about Lucius. The young kid in Gladiator, the Emperor's nephew. And it's going to be now about him all grown up. Bring back some of the original characters. Denzel Washington's going to be in it. Yeah. I think Pedro Pascal is in this. Um, of course he is. Uh, the, the kid, yes. the other kid who's uh, Eddie, Eddie, the kid who's in Fantastic Four now is oh, yeah. also in this. Isn't it Paul Mescal? Mescal. I think Paul Mescal is in it as well, yeah. but, I, but I think uh, the kid oh. who plays, I could be wrong about that, but I thought I heard okay. he was in it. Anyway, I don't have the cast uh, list in front of me. Something Quinn is Mon Eddie Munson. And so, so here's the Joseph thing. Quinn. Joseph Quinn. Joseph Quinn. Here's the thing though about Ridley Scott. He's not any good anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm going to bring up a list here of uh, Ridley Scott's... Not the list. <laughs> the list? <laughs> You're on the list! All right. Of Ridley Scott and the last number of movies that he has directed. All right? Napoleon. Woof. House of Gucci. I didn't mind House of Gucci, but a lot of people didn't like it. Somebody sitting across from me really didn't like it. Mm -hmm. The Jonathan. Last Duel. <laughs> Before that was The Last Duel. That was all right, though. That one. I, but... I didn't like The yeah, Last Duel. Yeah, but then he also blamed audiences <laughs> being like, well, millennials, millennials oh, don't like yeah. 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 The big millennial thing. I, I didn't like that at all. Yeah. Then he did All the Money in the World, which... Can't make a good movie. I, I didn't think that movie was bad. It certainly had Christopher Plummer Christopher stepping Plummer's in. Christopher Plummer's incredible yeah. in that film. Yeah, Christopher Plummer got an Considering Academy they had Award nomination for it, actually. Reshoot yeah. half of it. Alien Covenant, I did not like. And then you got to go all the way back to 2015 when he did The Martian. That yeah. was great. <laughs> okay, that was great. The best movie ever. Then before that, he did Exodus, Gods and Kings. Then before that, he did maybe his worst film, The Counselor. What? Then before that, he did Prometheus, which is divided. Some people really, really love Prometheus. I, like I, I did not like Prometheus, but that's me. Before that, he did Russell Crowe's Robin Hood, which was not any good. And then you got to go back to 2007 for American Gangster, which was pretty great. Yeah. I loved America. But listen, six out of his last seven films have just not been all that good. I mean, listen, Ridley Scott, make no mistake, is a first ballad Hall of Famer when it comes to the the uh, pantheon of great directors that we've had in Hollywood. No doubt. That part, his legacy is already completely secure. But, let, I mean, let's be honest. He hasn't been killing it lately. Again, I'm not trying to mean. I'm, look, am I wrong? Am I wrong in saying he has not been killing it lately? Come on. Let's be honest here. So, I, I haven't really known what to think about a Gladiator 2 and the whole idea about uh, a remounting it. But... Me and a couple of other, well, one YouTuber, one writer on an outlet, we were on a text chat, and one of the, the two guys brought up a couple of days ago that they're hearing that Gladiator 2 is actually amazing and that the studio is so impressed by it, they're actually going to mount a much larger marketing campaign for it than they were originally planning on. And I was like, okay, well, maybe that's true. Again, this is just one person talking to me in a chat thread, right? Well, here's the thing, though. This morning we wake up and read in Deadline about, you know, Ridley Scott, now he's going to do a Bee Gees biopic after Gladiator 2 is wrapped. Nice. But kind of hidden in that little part is this thing that says, Scott recently wrapped production on the sequel to a smash hit Gladiator, and according to sources, early footage has blown executives away. Now, the only reason that really caught my attention is because this backs up what these other guys were telling me a few days ago that, and listen, 
we have heard BS reports before about, you remember the, the Warner Brothers said, oh, the Warner Brothers executives saw Justice League and they gave it a standing ovation. That was never true. Okay, that, that's been debunked. That was never, never, never true. But guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Fume. Have you ever tried to break a bad habit and it felt like you're climbing uphill? Yeah, well, we've been there too. But here's a breath of fresh air. Fume. It's not about giving up, it's about switching up. Fume takes your habit and simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it, instead of bad, Bad fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and make replacing your bad habit easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. I'll be honest with you guys, I was a little uncertain about it until my package arrived and I tried it. I couldn't believe how perfectly balanced it is, how fun it is to have in your hands, and how great the actual flavor was. Plus, fume just released a magnetic stand for your fume, so there's no more or losing it around the house. So start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com slash campia and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the show 10% off when they use my code campia to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Um, apparently, the people are so happy. The Fox people, are, or I should say the Paramount people are so happy with how Gladiator 2 has turned out that they are getting ready to put everything behind it. So the question I have here, Chris, is, is Gladiator 2 going to be Ridley Scott's new Martian, the Martian, or will it be another one of his Robin Hoods? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I don't know, but apparently... It's always good when the studio really gets behind it, unlike Sony with Madam Web. Sure. But I don't know, what do you think about this? Well, hope springs eternal, right? <laughs> I, I want someone to make a good movie, especially you guys are always telling me how amazing Gladiator is. I have to watch that right before I go see this film because I still have never seen Gladiator. I was a wee little thing. My parents didn't take me to a rated R movie. It never happened. Missed the boat on that one. So I am going to watch it. I will say, though, executives... <laughs> don't always have the best taste. It's a smash hit. Because I also recall, you know, David Zaslav telling all of us at CinemaCon <laughs> that The Flash was the best superhero movie that had ever been made. Bar none. Well, I remember... To be fair, I thought the movie... I didn't think it was one of the best superheroes, but I thought it was great. I, I, mean, I distinctly recall the executives uh, at Sony saying that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was their... Uh, their dark night. Yeah, but yeah. to be fair, their to dark be fair, night. If yeah. we want to sit here and cherry pick a couple of examples out of Hollywood history, of no, course, it's not are. about cherry picking. It's but, just, no, it's but just, it's also about. I, I think taste. most Take of the time, when executives salt. get yeah. really behind a movie that they're now seeing done, more times than not, it ends up being pretty good. Sure. I mean, I think it's important to bring up though that executives aren't tastemakers and not always right, and they're not always right. And a lot of times, taste is obviously subjective. We all have different views on on movies here, just in this room. We all have different movies in the chat here. Sometimes too, executives like the idea of something. They like sequels. They like worlds that have already been built that people like going back to. They like franchises. And there's always that hope that you can build a cinematic universe out of something or franchise something. So I'm sure executives, if this is good, are thrilled and foaming at the mouth to get this out in theaters of, ooh, hopefully this is more merch, more movies, more money, right? right? That doesn't always equate to fans enjoying something. Hopefully this is an excellent, excellent film. It's got a stacked cast with incredible actors. And really, Scott, while there has been a decline in his work, I'll totally give you that. I mean, an iconic filmmaker who I really hope, I hope the Bee Gees like really <laughs> ignite him. I hope that that is giving him the, the juice he needs for Gladiator so his career can uh, 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 stay alive. Yeah. Let's, let's, so, let's, let's, you oh, did boy. it. I did. You let's, did that. Did. <laughs> let's, not, let's hope he's not one of those fighters that uh, stay into the, in the ring too long. Yeah. One, one of the more important things that you pointed out was they want a massive marketing push. Paramount right now, from what I, 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 I well, you guys have told me, like they shouldn't be spending money, right? So, that's one of the you gotta spend money to make money. I know, but for them to do more than planned, mm. kind of tells me maybe they really do. These guys are really serious when they say. 
Well, it, see, and, and that's the thing, because right now we're juxtaposing this against something that's in theaters right now, right, Madam Web? And we saw the other extreme of this. Sony had zero faith in that movie. They never even bothered making a second trailer. They kind of gave up on their marketing campaign. They didn't even release the 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 um, uh, review embargo until the day before the movie came out. So there's one example of when a studio has absolutely no belief. And it's easy for somebody to tell you they have belief in something or believe in something. But do you put your money behind that's it? What I, exactly. That's what I was right? trying to point out. And if Paramount is saying... If what these you know whispers right. are saying is that they are so enamored with what they've mm -hmm. got right now that they're saying we need to put even more into yeah. this, and because we think we're going to get back because yeah. we believe it's that. And good. to be fair, the execs at Paramount do I do trust them. Like typically, I would trust the, the Paramount's know. had a, a fairly good track record when it's come to big yeah. blockbusters. Yeah. Right? Well, they invested in Sonic. Lately. They invested in Top Gun too. Mm -hmm. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mm -hmm. ended up being like a wonderful win for them. Yeah, yeah I got faith uh, like, in those guys. Right? Over that, I, if it was there. a different studio, I think I would have that yeah. whole execs love it be an even more. Yeah. Oh, I don't know because I don't agree with That's most of your cynicism. choices. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd be much more cynical. Uh, but who knows? Maybe it'll be the next Robin Hood, and it'll be that bad. I don't oh. know. We'll have to wait and see. Guys, question is for you. What do you think? You think this thing can be really good? I mean, obviously the Paramount execs seem to really believe in it and are talking about dumping a whole bunch of money behind the push of it, unlike what Sony did with Madam Web. Maybe it'll turn out good. Maybe it'll be yet another disaster. What do you guys think? Let us know down below. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.